going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, guys, a huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They deliver seasonal recipes and fresh pre-measured ingredients right to your door. No grocery stores, no meal planning, just everything you need to prepare wholesome, delicious meals delivered straight to your door. HelloFresh sends you pre-portioned ingredients so that way you don't waste money on excess food. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. With HelloFresh, the produce gets from the farm to your doorstep in less than a week. I personally love HelloFresh because even when Macy is busy with the baby, I can chef it up. I can make a gourmet meal, follow the instructions step-by-step, step, everything gets shipped to my doorstep. And even if you aren't a great cook, I promise you can cook these meals and they taste delicious. So if you wanna try HelloFresh for yourself, go ahead and click the link down in the description down below or go to HelloFresh Dot com and use promo code POGFLAIR16 to get 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. A huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's videos. Brands like them that I partner with that allow me to do every single day. Maybe you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! Well, folks, holy crap, oversized load in Bound Laser. That is a freaking crane. We have a literal crane out here. This is a, I mean, this is an operation. We've got, looks like six gentlemen over there. Trucks, I thought that was the crane. This is the crane. Uh, we got another truck there. We got my truck. We've got Brad the Builder's truck. We've got a bulldozer, a packer, a skid loader, a dump truck. We've got the mini truck. Um, what that has, they're trenching my power right now. And then we've got the crane truck and a flatbed. And a and banjos porta potty. Well, today we're building a bunker under my garage, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's right. If you guys have watched the videos, I've kind of kept caught you up to speed on what we're doing. We dug out, we excavated beneath the garage. So I've got a three car garage. I think it's like 1500 square feet ish. But we excavated under it. So this is the garage. So it's a wrap around, you pull around here. But under it is where we're going to have a underground bunker fully concrete what do you, he measured that concrete was it 12 inches 11 inches of concrete yeah, like basically around the entire thing so today they're gonna put the i guess you call it the lid would be, like would be like a simple lid, way it's also because you got to be able to drive on park cars and skillers stuff on top of it so today we're putting the lid on top of the bunker to make it a bunker and this will literally like i always thought like do we put a huge safe door to get in like oh, like a like a, whoosh, like a huge <laughs> but i mean like cool. think about locking yourself in there who there, there's not a window there's not a door like literally it would be the coolest bomb shelter ever yeah. or a tornado shelter yeah sure. and we're not sure what we're gonna put in it we're thinking bowling alley we're thinking basketball court we're thinking maybe turf so we can kick <laughs> you know soccer balls around stuff like that we're not sure what we're gonna put under it but we got big space i don't know i should actually have measured that how big like you know i always say like how many square feet but i don't know how how long like dimension wise feet. yeah that we actually have to work with but enough to do a bowling alley if we want enough to do an indoor archery range if we want enough to do an indoor pistol range if we want so we're not sure what to do with it but before anything before we put a bowling alley in probably not gonna do a bowling alley we got to put the lid on it so that's the plan today we've got just an, an obnoxious amount of equipment here and guys and then the other thing that we're working on is we got to draw out the shop so which we've done before yeah many many months ago many many months ago plans changed a little plans have changed a lot and brad the builder's here he's he's in i don't know he's in his truck probably talking he, he has to run this i just hold a camera and look good so uh he's busy but he's gonna help us we've got the pad over there that you guys have seen so we've got he has some flags he has some paint and i've got some measuring tapes and stuff so we were thinking 50 by 100 is what we initially wanted the shop to be and i think the the living quarters with the kitchen you know office area for us basically just a youtube man cave is essentially what we're going for we don't have to go to the house when we come we, to the yes home, we, we go here everything. that's the office like hey babe gotta go to the office i'm there yeah. i'm walking there and, I, and i'm not working in my house i want to i want to separate so we can do our hoodlum hood rat shit over there and not inside the house so if we need to design it you know we I said 50 by 100 but 50 by 100 will allow us to drive around it yeah. we need to decide is that valuable or do you make it 60 by 100 or do you make it less oh god what's, oh god it worth it it's my truck Okay. Well, I guess, I guess, yeah, he's probably going to unload. I probably should get my truck out of there, huh? You think? Anyway, so we got the shop we got to worry about today. But since there's so much going on, we're like, we might as well film it. Make a, make a little construction video since there's literally a construction site. No one's been here for like three weeks, and this makes me feel good. It makes me feel like there's stuff going on, progress <laughs> happening. What I'm finding out, if you want to build your house and do whatever, 90 tons? God bless. You know how much that is? That is heavy. That's a heavy load. Ordering. 
ordering stuff is like, okay, so when you're building a house, you can't order like your countertops until it's like framed because then they don't let the side. Like, so there's certain things you can't order early before you build it and there's some things you can't. The things you can, appliances. You know, you know, you know what appliances are gonna be. Your windows for your house, you know the dimensions. Your garage doors. Okay, right now, Banjo, garage doors are like nine months out. So if we wanna move in this house, we gotta order garage doors now. Well, here's the problem. Where do you put them? Yeah. You can't, someone's gonna steal them. Yeah. They're worth a lot. You know, Brad's got a warehouse, but we saw that. It's, it's not, full. There's, it's, it's full. full. <laughs> He's got a bus in there and it's full. And yeah. so if we're going to, you know, regardless, if we order, either we order stuff early and have to pay for storage, no matter where we we're, we're gonna have to pay for storage. And then you gotta move it twice. So you gotta, now you have to pay a company to move it out there, and then you have to pay a company to come move it back in your house. Double the expense. Or you don't, you wait and order it when normally you would order it, and then you don't have a garage door for the first half year that you live in your house, which is not that a good solution either. So I thought, well, since we're already gonna be building a 5,000 square foot building right there. Why don't we just build it now and use it as a warehouse where we can store everything? So then when I close on my house, I have a garage door and I have a refrigerator and I've got windows and, and stuff like that. So I talked to Brad and I said, what do you think about just building it now? Cause we were gonna build it after I moved in. Is that, you know, we were gonna frame it, but then, you know, finish it, whatever. So we may not build the living quarters right away, but just concrete the floor, insulate the whole thing, run power across the whole thing, rough in the plumbing, but you would have a 5,000 square foot warehouse store to store anything like you could store you can store all the lumber if it gets dropped so then it doesn't get wet so that's why if you guys are like well, why are you now trying to figure out your shop if you're not gonna live here for another year year and a half because we need a place to store all the material so with that being said crane's gonna do crane things we got to go walk over to the shop and uh, get everything drawn out so you guys stay tuned Brad the builders here Brad. what's up what are we doing busy today day at the flare a lot project going on. oh my gosh this is yeah. crazy I saw the crane but what, it, what what's this thing doing exactly so, the crane's here because your flexor core concrete's coming. Okay. And what I found out is these are the counterweights that are, they bring one rig in just for the weights. Oh my, a literal entire summit just for weights. And on their rig, when they lift something up, there's a, a scale that shows if they're out of limit because when they, the more they boom it out, yeah. Yeah, you know, they it. don't, the red zone, then they run the risk of tipping over. Got so it. I said, are you going to use all these? They said, yeah, all these are going to be set up on that rig. Wow. And just, so just the counterweights. That's all that is. They brought a summit in for the counterweights. This is cra that's just not hollow. Oh, that is crazy to me. <laughs> this is for a house. Yeah. Like this is what you would for like skyscrapers. This I was is gonna a, say, think about this what is it a takes house. for them to build like the Empire State Building. Yeah. Like, like this is for yeah. a house. Oh, there is that the that's a flexicore up there. Yeah, it's coming down the road. There's several rigs. Why do we have four semi? So how heavy is <laughs> Oh, there's lit. more. Yeah. Dude, this is crazy, dude. This is this is why oh you God. get you get Brad the builder because I wouldn't know the first thing to do with it. There's just semis all the way up. Because you got a your road, you got a nice one lane road coming down. Yeah, we, I know. We, that's okay. You know who you don't semis going back once I live here right. yeah yeah I got so, it which is good there's only so much room on the job site so yeah one will come down they'll park here they'll offload it and set them got they'll it to go back up the hill and let the next guy down gotcha so yeah do you know how much the the flexicore will weigh I want to find out I, okay I don't know how many yeah. pieces are there did you say well they're probably anywhere from like three to four foot wide oh so there's and a they span the whole length of the garage God, so you just have to do that it's pretty close to like 26 to 28 feet okay got it and you'll see little holes that keeps the weight down. Oh, um, okay. That's the, like, so they're like a little hollow core. It's like a honeycomb. Yeah, I got be it. Able to. And then they pour concrete on top of it. Yeah, that's we'll your floor. Insulate it and we pour oh, on top. Oh, insulate it and then, yeah. okay, I got it. Wow. That makes sense. All right. Here we go. They're getting that rig going up. <laughs> wow. Uh, Don't you love this stuff? I love this. I could be out here all day. I know, this is great. This is great. So, and we're getting paid to work on the job. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying my life right now. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> but they've got the flex board concrete coming down. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna jump at the side by side and we're gonna go start messing around. Oh, I need it. I need flags from Brad. Yeah, you wanna go grab it? Yeah. I'll grab the side by side. Uh, grab a bunch. Okay. We're waiting. Concrete, like, there's literally one. I'll go grab the side. I see two. There might be a third one. There's semis all along this road that are filled with concrete slabs that they are gonna lift with the crane. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, we've built some cool stuff. We've built some barns. We've built some lakes and pond. This is so next level, I can't even explain it to you guys how, like, out of my league I am right now. Like, I couldn't tell you the first thing that's going on. Oh, Banjo! Big, Fancy tool. big, big paint roller guy. Sheesh! That'll work good. Oh, that's, is it just measure? Yeah. Oh, I thought... Or is he? He had. A, he has a painter too. Oh, no, he didn't give me that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't trust me with paints. Good. But okay. Two of those. Yep. And this, so. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can. Oh, that makes it way yeah. easier. Oh we my don't gosh. Even need to use yeah, we don't even need. I brought some long measuring tapes. It. Do you see them backfilling already? Are these guys not the most efficient wow. guys ever? Look at it. They got the whole rig. He just drives it up there. And, to do so now we have power. And what's crazy is that right there is a pipeline that is abandoned. But at one point, at one point, carried ammonia nitrate. Some shit that will kill you. It's good to see. And uh, someone died from a leak one time. Rip. Yeah, not here, uh, but right up, right up the road. There was a gas leak. They didn't know, and he drove, he just drove his car through and died. And I was like, well, I'm glad I'm building my house on it. So I got inspected, and I guess it's abandoned. So oh. as long as they don't start, as long as they start, don't start pumping. That too, where they're trenching power today. They're running. They're under. They're doing it right now. They're going under it. They have to oh. bore. They have to bore under it and then come back up. Wow. And if they hit that, we all die. No, I think it's empty. It's okay. We yeah, all look at this. But, oh yeah. Hey, why don't we have one of them? I feel like we're always Sweet. measuring stuff. What the heck? Oh, we could measure the inside of that, the garage oh, too. Yeah. We could definitely do that. Make it easy. True. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go mess around on the uh, the shop pad. Try to get this thing designed up. So stay tuned. Let's get a little sip of coffee. Oh, hmm. Oh yeah. No, that's what all this is. This is all deer. Yeah, those are all. Yeah, this was smooth the last time I was here. I'm serious. These are all deer. Look at them. Like these are these are all these are all deer. You're oh my Look at it. God. They're all deer. Tell me they're not. <laughs> they're deer. There's no there's no reason the deer need to come here. No, they like it. Walk over there, and then I guess we should just factor in a car, a truck, and trailer. So your largest trailer is going to be eight foot wide. So you're going to want to probably go ten to give you a foot on each side at least. Go, hey, hang on. Go like line up with me and him, like a straight line. Walk out fourteen. Let's just be safe. Let's be safe. That's 14? Yeah. Oh, go to where, just go where Jake was. Yeah, I like that. Right there. So put a flag there. Restart it and run 50 to me. And that'll determine, I don't even, they probably ain't gonna get to me, will it? Probably not quite, it's 25. No. It'll be close. It's gonna be about right here. 30, 40. I'm calling it right here. Hey, you were pretty on there. Dang, right here. Whoa, that's literally what I was talking about. Okay, right there, flag. I mean, this is, that's a lot of space here. Yeah. Which is good. I mean, I want that. That's good. Yeah. We got to run 100 as straight as we think we can get. Because all of the space I have over here is where I plan on putting trailers, out, like outdoor equipment. I don't want it here because this is like where the house and stuff is. So I think you're good. You walk 100. That's a lot of space here. I mean, that's got to be, which is good. I want this to be wide. I mean, you should be able to turn your truck around in this because this will be like all gravel. I'll gravel this whole thing. Yeah, it might be about where that snow is. Right here. Shit. It's almost like I know what I'm talking about here, buddy. Right where that snow is. Look at that. Right where the snow is. You gotta pull it more that way, don't you think? It's up to us. Bigger. It's up to us. <laughs> Put it wherever you want. Yeah. Depends so there's there's there. options. You either make that parking bigger. We're gonna want it be you know you like let's say you guys come in for the day. We're all gonna be everyone's cars gonna be parked like, there. Yeah. Pop beefcake. Mm -hmm. My truck. Banjo's truck. Three, Ooh, four, bed, four trucks okay. usually probably right. Yeah. Three to four trucks. So there. So we might have to play with that. Here's the thing. So you have two options. Well, three. Either you pull it this way and even it out. Option two is leave it and just have lots of space. Option three is make the building longer. Those are your options. You could go 120 yeah. and it'll cost you more, but you're gonna get you know from Banjo to probably about here and you could park a lot of stuff here. Let's say we're convinced we wanna, we wanna be able to drive behind it. Yeah. Let's just stay there. Do we want it any longer than 100? That's the golden question. Or do you save money and just put a 20 foot awning out here, like I have at my house, yeah. where you could put you can park stuff, but you're not enclosing it. I want to be able to have my truck hooked up to maybe not our biggest trailer, but for sure the utility, a boat, a the boat car trailer in here. Yeah. Think about getting ready for fishing, yeah. a bow fishing, duck hunting. Cause like overnight, like this, like last night when I put that on the trailer, I had to park outside cause I don't have, yeah. so we need to make sure it's deep enough for that, yep. which 
50 is probably to be about right because you're going to be 20 for a truck and 20 for a trailer. Rude, just leave, but I, don't know I just don't know if we have enough room. On the closest door this way, we want to put a small garage, not small, like 10 by 10, garage door for trucks and side by sides and four wheelers. So if you want to just pull around and do the like pull through the back or pull out that way, you could. But I wouldn't count on being able to do a truck and trailer. OK. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get the rest of this flagged and get Brad out here and see what he thinks. Stay tuned. All right, we got Brad the builder here. He's gonna tell us where we messed up. So it, we got it squared off as good as we can. It can always, you know, pivot wherever, but that's so that's a 50 by 100. Okay, got and you've got- way, 50 this yep. way. And you've got, I'll take you over here, get your thought. Cause we talked about, we wanna be able to drive around it. Right. Now, I don't think we're gonna have enough room to put a garage on the backside to pull through, but I'm okay with that. I don't think, I don't think we need it unless we pull it way forward and then we were gonna lose space in the front. But this is too wide, in my opinion, if so, all it is is a lane. Well, what do gonna, you think? You're gonna want to drive vehicles through here. Correct. Trucks, with yeah. trailers. With right. trailers. Well, well, here's what I would do. Just in case you could leave it the way it is. Yeah. And then we get in. We always have the luxury of pushing that in and putting a retaining wall. Exactly we we, we said that. this. Did you? Yeah, this See, is good. You we're don't need me. No, no, no. no, 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 no we no, need you. We need you. At least we were on the right. We, we, yeah. we said start with a lane that's big enough for a truck and trailer. Right. And if we end up wanting to do some crazy thing where we have a garage on that side, we want to be able to swing in there, then we can blow it out yeah, and put a retaining wall. Yeah, push this back. Yeah. I'll get my muff boots on. <laughs> you, you, come, you can come clear up to here yeah. with the wall, yeah. Yeah. like four foot tall, and you picked up like 12 feet. Yeah, yeah. got it. That's a lot, yeah. You only have like a three or four foot wall, and then it, it actually looks cool. It looks good, yeah. yeah. We yeah we talked about doing so something like that. You're big in that pond. If we need more dirt, we can throw some out here and make this. Yeah, and and, and blow this out more. Blow this out. Yeah. Just throw a little. Let me see how steep this is. It's pretty steep. I asked Chad about that, and he said it would be expensive. Oh, Just because, yeah, because it's because he would. Oh, it, he's uh, got a compacted. A long so. goes a little way, basically. Yeah, yeah. So let's so. leave this alone. Yeah. Yep. We got, you have a huge. There's still a lot of here. space, a lot of space. It's better to go that way. Correct. You could always shove this thing this, this way, way. Two, yeah. three, four, five feet. Yeah, got it. And not even fill it. So what are you planning on doing? So this would be gra you? just gravel pad, and it's just in front you of the shop. You could back in so you, with a trailer. Because when I come in, I'm going to have to angle my truck to that point and back in my trailers okay. like if that. If you didn't have to back in your trailers. Yes. Then that wouldn't that's be. better? Yeah, but the only problem is if you have garage doors on the back, which I have friends that have them, you can't, you can't put shelves there, and we have a lot of Okay. to store so like a lot, lot. <laughs> okay to where i would rather leave wall space for storage because we're even going to have a loft in here and i still think we're going to fill it i got a lot of junk other question that we said is right now we're at 100 by 50. is there a downside to going 120 by 60 instead of getting we think we have the room for it oh, yeah yeah so well, for building wise do you know if there's he jake thought maybe there's like a correlation with those oh, but you yeah, know with, with sizes, sizes. Yeah. uh that i don't know i have not built we may have to look into that we can look into 60 that. by 120 i've seen usually many times it, isn't it usually like halves like length yeah. is usually the width is about half. usually kind of even numbers yeah. i mean you don't Got want it. to go I know 53 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 62, yeah 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 you know so that was the other question is though that second flag we put out goes 20 that way so we could either go 20 that way or we can oh, go 10, 10 and 10. And 10. Yeah, yeah. That's what that so if there. you walk over here we want to leave a lot of space over here because this is where we're going to be parking our trailers and any so outdoor everything's down here out of so the way. it's kind of out of the way and, like and you don't see it so we want to make sure we leave space down here but we also need space on the entrance side to park cars in front of the living yeah, space you'll pull straight in have yep. parking there so yep. it looks nice yeah yeah yep. this will be your views yep. looking out yep and then here's the end of the building yep so you got a ton of parking ton and stuff there. yeah and again you can cut that out if you needed to my guy you, you could park you can park 10 trailers in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay, so uh, off of the top of your head, are you thinking 60 by 120 or do you like 100 by 50 better? I think what's better than a four car garage, a five car? You know, what's better this than guy. a 100 foot He's barn, 120? You see, the thing, you don't know Banjo all that well, but you guys are very similar. You <laughs> love spending my money. <laughs> and, it's a, and it's a passion. <laughs> it's a passion of both Banjo of you guys. And Macy are on the same <laughs> yeah, Macy's the, the queen of spending my oh, okay. money, but you guys are neck and neck for the race. We'll see who wins at the end of the year. <laughs> I think right. Brad might. But that's our discussion on the shop. We'll get, we'll get get it figured out we're, we're getting it worked out for now it looks like they just about wrapped up the flexicore so we'll see you guys over there Like, this is bigger than what I live in. This is a full house. 
This is a hot, like, this is, what do you, what do you do? I don't, they're so, I mean, like, <laughs> I've never seen this in someone's house in my life. Makes it look way taller. It, yeah. it, it makes, look so small. Dude, <laughs> the, the, the ceiling makes it bigger somehow. I yeah. thought it was gonna go the opposite. It feels way bigger. This is sick. This is a literal bunker that no one could ever get in, yeah. ever. Yeah. Dude, tornado comes, yeah. you wouldn't even know. Who cares? You're, my house could be gone and I would never know because you would just be in this. Yeah. Seriously. To think you could, my house could just blow away and you would never know. That is insane. You would never know. <laughs> wow. I'd, I'd be this in here just nuts. saying, hey, what's the, what's the problem? What's the weather like? Can we just want to take a soccer ball and yeah, kick it wanna, so yeah, hard? Yeah, so it's hard. Like <laughs> That's the best part is we can do anything we want in here. I'm thinking Try like- your bow and your target. I'm thinking pistol range, skeet. Probably not. Ski, <laughs> the, the, the BBs are just bing, 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 bing. I don't think a pistol range either. You don't like that? This, oh, this is it. nuts. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is so yeah. crazy, dude. Okay, I don't regret doing this at all. No. No. For a while, you're like, you really, you really gonna do this? You really yeah, want this? There. So this just shows how big. I mean, you could probably put a car. You're telling me this is a three car garage? It's a, it's a very large well, it's three a car three garage. Truck. It's a three. I can fit three of my trucks, and then there's space on both sides for like so eighteen. Like, if you wanted to put a, like a Toyota Corolla in here, you could probably fit like six. Probably. <laughs> I mean, Seriously. Yeah. you could fit, I bet you could fit one, two, three, one, two, three. I bet, yeah, you could, could fit like probably seven or eight. Car, you could probably put six in yeah. car. Yeah, so when we say three car, there's three doors. Yeah. That's not three car. Because the doors are big enough for my truck, which is a leveled F-250. It's not OSHA. <laughs> Buddy definitely works for beef kicking trucks now. He's not, he's, he's, not, he's not ocean approved at all. I love it. This is so sick. Well, they got a few more left, and the underground hidden bunker will be complete. And then they're going to pour concrete 15,000 pounds. How much will it weigh after the concrete's in it? Do you know? I'm not sure what, what you know, there'll be four inches of concrete. Yeah. Oh my it's going to be a lot. I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah. a tornado could hit, and you wouldn't even know. At least 75,000 pounds of, of concrete. Just chilling then, above you. Yeah. Teach us. And, I mean, this whole, look at what we got going on. Imagine this whole rig just, you ever seen those videos where the crane just <laughs> like falls over? I love how it's hollowed out to save weight. That's 15,000 pounds. What would it weigh if it's not hollowed out? Keep coming. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Isn't that crazy? Well, what do you think? This is your house. Uh, it's bigger than I thought. It's good. Yeah. They yeah. put that lid on it. It feels bigger, it's just, I, which is surprising. Yeah. Well, that's what's going to happen when we put the With lid every, on, on the main floor of your house. Yeah. So, it's huge. I know. So much room for activities now. I know. You're, you're, I told. Why would you leave this place, Andrew? You got the view. <laughs> I don't think I will. I, there's no way. You don't need a television because you got all the activities <laughs> and views to look at. Hey, let's get you up on it. Oh still God. Floor? Oh, no, oh, I oh. have it. I'm scared. Oh wow. This looks awesome. Great, too. This Shit. Ooh, that's big. Man. This is only three car garage. How big of cars do you think I have? Well, you must, you, well your garage doors are so big, you could probably- I, This is only a three car garage. I'm three like, truck. Dude, this is, this is, this is crazy. So yeah. over there was the, uh, remind me, the dog wash and stuff. So yeah, so as you come in, you come you're gonna- in the Yeah. That door will come in. You're gonna have a dog wash right where these guys okay. are standing. Okay. okay. And then there'll be a, a door into your laundry, into the back hallway. Okay. And now you get a little sense of. Now we're up on the ground. What yeah. your views are gonna look. Oh, like the views are getting oh, this better. Is this is from yeah. your main floor. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is the main. This is what the main floor is gonna look like. Like your deck up there is gonna be insane. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah Shooting out over the top of that. Deck. Oh my gosh. So. Makes it feel like it's kind of worth wow. it now, huh? So you got who? Did, is, how often do you get a garage floor in about? Two hours. Yeah, I feel like I've, I've never seen nothing like this. Well, I don't this know if anyone's ever this seen this. This isn't the finished product. We still, we, we still got to put concrete. Yeah, what they do, they call it the grout these joints. Then okay. we got to insulate it with okay. that blue foam I may have shown you. Yeah. So we create a barrier so your ceiling below doesn't turn into like a, a dripping Yeah, yeah, you don't uh, want that. You know, cave. Yeah, I got it. Uh, so this wow. will all get concrete on top. That's amazing the weight this can handle. It can handle more concrete and cars yeah. and trucks. <laughs> I don't know who comes up with this stuff, but it's yeah. I, I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, it works. Man. I am a fan. Yeah, I think you do. Uh, 
like take it your way as much as well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The dungeon's complete. We got the last piece on, so I just wanted to. Oh god, break my back! <laughs> what the hell? This is awesome. This is the craziest shit I've ever. You get Brad involved, and he get, he builds you cool stuff. I'll tell you what. This is crazy. Well, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a bunker now, and uh, I guess we got to figure out what to do. And uh, we have two doors. I didn't know that. That's a big ass door, by the way. I don't know Fit if we have things through. That's what I was thinking, like, like a safe, like a vault. Door. It'd be cool to have that, would that not be your, like have like a, a slider on the inside vault so you can keep the vault open and then get in, but if you're like, shit, it's a fan, you really close I want it. the move one book and it like. Oh, a, a rotating bookcase. Yeah. Oh. It's hidden, so it just looks like this is like nothing. What if we did that? You gotta get Brad in that. Okay, I like that, the rotating bookcase. Cause then what? it just looks like nothing, it doesn't yeah. look like a door. Yeah, and then you hit it and it just, the whole thing goes, yeah. turns around and wah bam. Yeah. This is crazy. So you have to comment down below. What do you guys think we should do? I mean, a universal, because we have so many good ideas. I think, because bowling alley is like, Jesus, you really must like bowling, you know? You can't take it out. Like, it's there. I think a universal sports court, that's what Brad calls it. Like, I would call it a basketball court, but sports court's better work, so you can do anything. Because, like, you can hang up a basketball hoop easily and be able to shoot, like, I mean, literally full size. You know, you can't shoot the ball super high, but high enough. I mean, you could, and you could put it like nine foot too, just to make it a little bit easier. And some type of floor that's maybe like rubber, but a ball can bounce. Yeah. I'm just thinking like turf is not bad, but you can't play basketball no. with turf. Yeah. I'm just trying to think like, what's the most universal that we would have? What's, I don't know what the flooring. I don't know, I think leave it dirt and we could ride some dirt bikes and pit bikes or we could, Or we can make a little, little ramps. <laughs> well, cause the other thing, it's gonna be concrete. You could just leave it concrete. Because they're gonna pour concrete floor in here, yeah. you know, as like and then whatever. You could like the stuff you put together. That's like oh yeah, like a mat, like a mat, like for your kids yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So okay, so that might be the, the cheapest way to do this is leave it concrete, and then if you want an area for the kids to like play, then you just go buy the little mats and just build mats, and it's cheap. Yeah, um, you're right. Concrete co concrete won't look the nicest, but at the end of the day. You could do like that epoxy concrete. Oh yeah, you could do that where you, where you could finish it. So anyways, there you have it folks. I've got a bat, I mean, this looks like a bat cave. I feel like I should have yeah. made a car. I should have been like Stradman and put a car lift yeah. in here and just, cause that's literally what he has. You pull yeah. it in the garage and then you could bring it down here. But we have a bat cave now. Brad just took off and most of the guys took off. I mean, that took, how do you build a bat cave in two hours? That yeah. was a like, that is just. You told me this was gonna take all day. Yeah, I know. I know. We, we got we gotta go yet. eat lunch now. We got time for we got time for lunch. So there you have, it, folks. Bat cave complete. The house is coming along nicely. The my the best part of this entire build is about to be next. So stay tuned. Framing. Uh, it looks framing cool. is gonna look so cool. We have the coolest time lapses, and you'll actually be able to understand what's going on because I don't understand what's going on, and it's my house. So it'll be good. It'll be good for everybody. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you on the next one, and peace.